Hey guys, welcome. My name is Lion Homer, Mentality Lost, depending on how you found me. And this is Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. I'm taking from the top with this one, start off uh, fresh. I'm loading this game up for the second time, but the first time I only downloaded the patches and put my like Uplay stuff in, so... No worries on that one. So... Gotta wait for my shitty internet to actually connect up. There we go. And... Sure. Now, I love Assassin's Creed. I love everything about Assassin's Creed. Loved it since the first game, love it now. Um... Can't really define it. I just kind of like open world games, and this is just one of them that I really enjoy because it's a little more quote unquote realistic, even though it has unrealistic elements to it. But for now, I'm gonna shut up. Admit it now. I actually like the revamp that they kind of did to the UI with uh, Assassin's Creed 3. LLT and move R to aim. That's hard to shoot. I love the ship based combat, I'm so glad they start off with it. Uh, this is one reason why I was really excited about it, because the uh, ship based combat of 3 was just one of the things that I love the most. Oh. I don't know if this is really... nope. I see it. Oh, I didn't know that was gonna happen. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. Right over the wave. And... You did. No, you're not. Oh, I guess I'm not supposed to know how to fire the slivels yet. Oh, I arced it. Oh, they changed that. I didn't realize I could arc shots. <coughs> Sorry, I couldn't get to the mic being passed off. Oh, man. Sorry about that. Really? That's all I got out of that. There we go. I know ship to ship combat. Let's see if I actually like this Kenway, because I freaking hated Haytham. Haytham, for you, those of you who don't know, is uh, the guy is you played dangerous? first in uh, Edward. 3. Edward, hmm? privateering, is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the King's Navy, earn a proper wage, sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. 
For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. How long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. Oh, so that was a flashback. Gotcha. I thought we actually moved forward into the future. Yes, I know, and you use right trigger to swim faster. Otherwise you swim really slow. Like that. Told you. I know my buttons. Like I said, I love Assassin's Creed. Is there a settlement on this shore? No. Maybe? for you as well. Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred excuses. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? Bloody fucking pirates! <laughs> Wet powder misfires. <laughs> I'm on to you, Sneaks B! I won't ruin what happened in the beginning of the first game, at the third game for you if you don't know, I already know. Sorry about that slight interruption. Try to edit that out in post. All right, run. Oh, is this what you're saying? You're saying I should do this? I love the jump's not really a jump in this game. Kind of a stumble. It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance? Pretty sure we're on an island somewhere. I don't think he can walk that distance. Did I go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. I think I was supposed to be up there. Yeah, I was. The only awkward thing about the way that you travel in, in Assassin's Creed is that sometimes you'll just latch onto something that you didn't mean to to begin with. But I do enjoy that every character that you play just automatically knows how to free run. I need to go around the corner 
and then and free running takes a lot of skill and strength this is a point though Come on. get up there oh B to synchronize wasn't it Y to synchronize in 3? I suppose that's a little bit better than a, just a pile of hay. Gosh, get. Where's he running to? I'm following you anyway. Another thing that I like is that they moved into open environments instead of just, um,. Instead of just city environments. Well, the city environments are cool. Seeing how the assassins would move through an open environment. It's a little bit more we interesting to me. Together on this. And I enjoy that even though I'm clearly in a linear path right now, I have many ways to choose of how to, I'm going to get through to where I need to go. The glory of free running. Am I supposed to be getting that treasure? I feel like I am. Um, give me a second. I'm going to go back and get some stuff. This is going to be the tough part about playing an open world game and recording it because I like finding stuff. I like exploring, I like finding collectibles, I like doing everything. Whoop, I killed myself. I didn't kill myself. Damn, you can take a fall, bro. See, like that. That was a really weird free run move. That really didn't make any sense. Where's the chest? There we go. There it is. Anything I can back where I came? Something on the island there. The jaguar there. An animus fragment there. Chest there. Chest there. Mesh in a bottle. Okay, so am I supposed to be collecting this stuff now or do I come back here? I've got a little antsy there, hold on. There we go. Nope. Go back. Are you kidding me? There we go. That hurt a little bit. Okay, seriously, just go down. Just go down. Dear God, it's not that hard of a task. 
There's gotta be an underground. Under uh, ooh. It's gotta be a cave. That's what I'm trying to say. Can we drop off the edge? I'm gonna jump. We're jumping. You did that, not me. You wouldn't go where I wanted you to, and you jumped. Database entries. I love me some history. For several days, I stayed with my, cat, with my captor, Balam, asking him all manner of questions, and he was asking the same of me. And all the while, I wondered what fate he'd intended for me. At last, on the seventh day, I revealed what lay heavy on my heart. What do you want of me, sir, that you keep me a prisoner so? At this, Bellum laughed and answered, You are no prisoner, sage. You may take your leave at any point. Only tell us where you wish to be dropped, and if it be in our power, we shall transport you hence. This answer surprised, then angered me. Why did you spirit me away in such a diabolical method? Kidnap, no less. And he, in, in answer, Your master hosted a Templar, and may now be one himself. Such men are not to be trusted with a prize so valuable as you. Steer clear of them, for they seek the knowledge that hides in your mind, with an E. Your dreams, your memories, and location of a, a place once dear to you is the observatory. The word rang in my ears, for I had heard it before, another memory from a time long ago. And what do you desire me for, sir, I ask of him? Would you steal the secrets buried within me, too? Balm smiled. I would not shun them, but to share them is a point for you to decide. Your secrets are your own, and you're alone, yours alone to lend. Another reason I really enjoy the uh, Assassin's Creed games is that they try to keep it pretty historical. I mean, the game itself is fantastical, of course. I mean, there's no really getting around that. But, um... I know, at least with Assassin's Creed 3, the, uh... Like, the people you killed, and, well, the main people you killed. Alright. I guess I'm taking the boat. The main people you killed, the people with names and stuff, their dates and the time, and, well, maybe not the way that they died, but the times that they died correlated with actual historically how... Historically, how they would have gone, or how they had gone. Now, like I said, obviously, the method is a little bit different, and the actual facts of what happened are going to be vary. But it's still kind of cool that they did enough research to actually say that this person died then. So we're going to add him to our game and say that he was a Templar or whatever. I think it's cool. Sorry, I know, I, I know I'm probably boring you with just wandering around. Uh, it's a little money gain. Got that one though. Is that the assassin? Nope. Whoa, a music thing? Uh oh, that's a boar. Not worried about it. Unless it's a wild boar and it wants to kill me, then I'm worried about it. Is this something? Nope. All right, now I'm back to where I was before I went on my little journey across the uh, island. The thing about open world games, I love just exploring. I love trying to figure out what I can do next. Sometimes it's not so much about the game itself or the story. Ooh, stealth swim? Yay, stealth swim. Ow, you're a dick. Oh, 
Okay. Gonna randomly stop at the end of the tree. Why not? I'm trying to, but you're not making it easy. Fuck, I lost the first mission. God damn it. Well, oh, that's to say that's a common thing in my channel would not be a lie. See, I died a lot in Batman. Resident Evil, I set this difficulty way too hard. So, yeah. It's a pretty common thing for me to then. Here we go. Here we go. Take it, your powder's dry now, you dick. Oh, wasn't paying attention. Oh, the counter combat that is Assassin's Creed. Did I actually kill him? It looked like I just bashed him a little bit. Senor Duncan Walpole, I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Figured. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Su más humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. Yeah, I figured that's why he became an assassin. For the money. A restricted area, huh? That school will do me just fine. Need to look to see if I missed something, which I most definitely did. Didn't I get that trip? No, wait, I didn't. All right, you know what? Actually, I'm going to end it here for this part. Then when I come back we will go and get the boat. So as always I appreciate everybody who stops in to take a look at my channel. I appreciate everybody every viewer. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and uh, consider subscribing as I try to upload new content just about every day if I can. Alright, my name is Mentality Lost and I'll see you